All right, guys, it's coming up again. The second meeting of Hebrews, Trinity's new men's group. Here's my calm one to tell us about it in his own inimitable style. Aloha, ladies. That's right, ladies, I am talking to you. Wouldn't you like a night to sit back, pretend you're sitting on a beach again, the sun coming down, and having the waves lapping across the shore, calming you down every Thursday night, the second Thursday night of every month? Send your men to Hebrews. That's right, Hebrews, the men's ministry here at Trinity. Our next meeting is September 13th, starting at 6 o'clock. So send your men there. After all, they get food, they get companionship, they get to learn more about God's Word, and most importantly of all, we try to discover what he's brewing up next. Our sermon series and small group study, Making Your Case for Christ, starts in a couple of weeks. Talking to people about your faith can be difficult for a number of reasons. You know, maybe we're scared or self-conscious. Sometimes we're just in a hurry to go somewhere. But it doesn't really matter what our plans are because, well, God has his own plan. Here's Youth Director Mark Novacek with a story about what happened to him recently. So I try to get out to the gym four or five times a week, and when I do, I want to get in and get out, do my thing, and go. On this particular day, there was a very large man who had this bright yellow shirt with an inappropriate saying on it and super loud and cursing. And I'm like, oh geez, I, I wanna get my work in and get out of here. So I did and I go back down to the locker room. And of course, he's basically right behind me and he's right next to me in the locker room. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, Mark, just get in and get out. So I'm packing up all my stuff and he starts talking to me. And he says, have you been to this gym a lot? I'm like, yeah, I've been coming here for quite a few years. And he said, well, this is the first time I've been here in over a year because my wife died uh, in childbirth and left me with two little girls. And I said to myself, oh, okay. So I had to swallow my pride and uh, I started talking to him about matters of faith. We got to pray together. I got to tell him, hey man, I believe in this guy named Jesus and uh, he can really help you on the road to healing and to courage. And we get to run into each other at the gym here and there and I get to continue to encourage him. And it's just a great example of divine appointments, even when we don't feel like it or want to, that God puts people in our lives and we can be able to be that example uh, for them, even when we don't want to. If you'd like to join a small group for our six-week study of Making Your Case for Christ, please contact Janine Kelly at Trinity.